All right, we're up here on this roof on Briarwood. I just want to kind of give you a look around. Um, we do have a nice view out the, the back of the property. But anyway, we're up here on this roof. Uh, you do notice that there's quite a bit of material here on the roof. And your gutters are filled up. These need to be cleaned out. Every year you're going to have to do this as continuum maintenance because of the trees around here dropping stuff on the roof. Roof surface looks pretty good. It looks uh, not too old. Uh, probably four or five years old. There are nail heads in quite a few places. All of these nail heads need to be covered up, sealed up. Now there are a couple of soft spots in the roof surface and the sheathing. I'm going to try to figure out if there's a problem once I get in the attic. But the roof itself looks like it's doing good. Now this tree right here you're going to need to, again, continue maintenance. Keep this guy cut back so he's not rubbing up against the roof. I don't see any evidence where it's happened so far. Now here on the chimney, the actual metal cap looks good, looks nice and secure, but some of the wood siding, you notice uh, damage here, and we've got damage here, where water has gotten into it, and then also along the bottom here. I don't know if you can see it because of the shadows, but all of this. Now this should be cut back at about two inches. There should be a piece of metal flashing behind this, and this is acting as your counter flashing. But with it being so close, water is allowed to get right up in the edge here and then seep back up into the wood, which causes damage to the wood. So you'll see that on that side. And then also same thing on this side but uh, most of this siding has some damage to it and should be taken care of other than that that's that's about it those nail heads are in various places all throughout the roof and uh, you just want to cover those up so that the nail does not rust and come loose